Hello everyone, this is Methlo Kaiju, and I'm back with some brand new Godzilla vs. Kong information. Potential spoilers, I'm just adding the potential in there because you never know, this source could be lying, but I'm pretty sure it is legit. And the reason why I say that is because this source is Sayaka, who has proven to be pretty accurate before. If you have no idea who I'm talking about, then go ahead and check my previous video and I give a little bit more info there. So we're just gonna go straight into the information. It didn't say, you know, who the winner is between Godzilla and Kong. It's just extra information that we maybe had an idea of, but it's still pretty cool information nonetheless. So again, let's dig in. So the first piece of info Sayaka mentioned was quote unquote, GVK or Godzilla versus Kong will be bigger than King of the Monsters more monsters than king of the monsters end quote so this is pretty cool this is pretty cool so i know king of the monsters had 17 kaiju like in the universe but in reality we only saw like four of them you know apart from the uh the main four so i assume we'll actually see glimpses of the ones we didn't get to see like mokale bembe etc maybe they even discover more than the 17 titans they originally counted as in monarch so that's going to be pretty awesome. And then he goes on to say that the way all these titans are involved in the story is that they're mainly shown when the humans are exploring the Earth's core world, which I think he meant to say Hollow Earth. So I assume we'll see tons of humans versus monster scenes and just interactions in general, just like in Kong Skull Island with the graveyard scene and the giant spider scene, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool. And on another note relating to all these titans, maybe we will see a scenario where we have Kong's army versus Godzilla's army. Maybe. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. I mean, it's just there's just a lot going on in this movie, it seems. Godzilla, Kong, Apex, Mecha Godzilla, all these extra titans. I mean, I really hope it's not a huge, gigantic mess. Okay? It better not be. The way I can possibly see this being all cleared up is maybe... Maybe Mecha Godzilla makes Godzilla and Kong attack each other, and then each each Titan, each Alpha, excuse me, which is Kong and Godzilla, has their own army of Titans. So it's basically Godzilla and Kong, and their own respective armies against each other. But Mecha Godzilla is basically just there, kind of causing that. Maybe even Mecha Godzilla has his own army behind it because he could be portrayed as an Alpha to other Titans as well. If he looks exactly like Godzilla, maybe he has an Orca device or something, I don't know. So maybe it might be like a three-way, and then Mecha Godzilla gets defeated, and then it's just Godzilla and Kong's armies fighting each other. I don't know how they're going to do it, where it's not all just a jumbled mess. I really hope they do something about that, because that seems to be a possible concern for the movie. But anyhow, the very next piece of information he stated, which is the last one, unfortunately. I know he didn't really say too much this time. I couldn't really ask him any questions whatsoever because he just left pretty fast, actually. So, pretty unfortunate. But this is what he had to say. He said that Apex is the bad guy, which we kind of already assumed. We didn't have any official confirmation. And this is by no means official confirmation. But uh, this, it's almost official confirmation. Almost, almost. And he basically goes on to say that it's an evil company and compares it to Umbrella, which if you have no idea what Umbrella is, which trust me, I didn't have an idea what Umbrella was, but now I do. It's basically an evil company in the Resident Evil series that's involved with other monsters and zombies and all that kind of stuff. So my main question is, what exactly does he mean by evil? Is it just ideologically in the evil side, as in they want to kill the Titans instead of protecting them? Kind of, you know, as opposed to what Monarch is doing, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they are a terrorist organization. Maybe Charles Dance created Apex. Or maybe they just want to harvest the DNA uh, and create some sort of hybrid. That's what Apex wants to do. Or maybe Apex created Mechagodzilla. Or maybe Apex actually hijacks mecha godzilla which was created by monarch i mean there's just a ton of questions as to what exactly apex has anything to do with the movie if i had a guess i'm gonna guess it's maybe a branch of monarch that just wants to kill the titans and maybe monarch created mecha godzilla but then apex decides to hijack mecha godzilla and then use mecha godzilla to bring about the titans 
and have Mecha Godzilla kill the Titans. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, so yeah, relating to that, how like how is Monarch and Apex connected? Are they even connected at all? Is it like a branch of Monarch? Is it? I mean, we really have no idea whatsoever, which is pretty annoying. But it is way too early. We still have literally a year from the movie's release. So I guess we'll see. So that is all for this video. I know pretty short, but there isn't really much to talk about, or at least that you know Sayaka stated. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Just to summarize, uh, GVK or Godzilla vs Kong will have more Titans than King of the Monsters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And these Titans are shown when the humans are exploring the Earth's hollow Earth, or just the hollow Earth in general. Pretty cool. And that Apex is an evil corporation or company, as he puts it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure the exact details because, again, Sayaka is not being too precise. And it seems he has been avoiding some questions. Like, there were some people asking him for a while already if Mothra was going to be in the movie, if Rodan was going to be in the movie. And he didn't say anything whatsoever. So maybe he's just avoiding trying to say too many spoilers. Maybe it is a huge spoiler. I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, we do get an answer from him very, very shortly. That is all for this video. Subscribe, like, and comment. This is Methylokaiju, signing out.